There are many pathways to move to Japan. You could find a job, study at a language school, go to university, or even get married. But there's one path that you may not know about. And what would that path be? Vocational school. That's right, vocational school is indeed an option. At Gaijinpod Study, in addition to our language schools, we have higher education programs that can bring you to Japan to study at a vocational school and prepare for a new career. Before we get into all the requirements, let's talk about the kinds of things you can study. I'm glad to say that the world is your oyster, my friend. Want to take the business world by storm? Our partners have a program for that. How about breaking into the Japanese tourism industry and helping other foreigners? Our partners have a program for that. Have you ever dreamt about being the next big manga artist? Well, by golly, our partners have a program for that too. And you can check out all the other potential options on the higher education page on Gaijin Pot Study. Now, even if there's a program that sounds interesting, what are you actually going to be doing at a vocational school? You'll be working hands-on with your subject matter of choice in a two-year program alongside experts. On top of that, you'll have numerous opportunities for internships to connect with those in the industry and get some on-the-job experience. Our partner schools have great hiring rates and are an amazing option for those wanting to start a new career here in Japan. Okay. Now let's talk requirements. The basics are the same as a student visa for language school, and you can check out our student visa in 60 seconds video for more information, link in the description. Beyond the basics though, the most important thing to know is that these classes are taught all in Japanese, and that's specialized, industry-specific Japanese, not just the usual stuff from anime. You don't need any specific certification or anything, but, you will want to have the equivalent of JLPT and two-level Japanese if you want to keep up with the classes. Though, we have heard some stories of those with just around N3 level catching up quickly after getting into the classes. So, if you have confidence in your ability to learn at a rapid pace, don't count yourself out. Who would we recommend vocational schools to? Students come from all walks of life, but there are three main groups I'd recommend to. First, of course, are students attending a language school in Japan. If you're already here and want to build on your Japanese skills and get into a lucrative industry, this is the perfect next step after you complete your studies. Second, are those already working in Japan but are looking to break into a new field? I know of many who came to Japan to work with little to no Japanese knowledge, but in their free time have worked hard to improve their skills. Vocational school is the perfect opportunity to capitalize on that hard work. Lastly, are university students studying Japanese in other countries? Did you major in Japanese and now aren't 100% sure what comes next? Well, how about coming to Japan and studying at a vocational school and starting your career in a new land? Speaking of university, a quick disclaimer here at the end, after completing your studies at a vocational school, in order to get a working visa in Japan, it's often required that you have a bachelor's degree, but your mileage may vary depending on the company and your personal situation in general. So, are you interested in vocational schools in Japan? If so, please inquire on the higher education page of Gaijin Pot Study, or check out our other videos for more information on studying or living in Japan.